So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, let's uh, begin the session two of this particular course on smart grid implementation and design. So as I was telling from right uh, beginning, that is, which was the last lecture, that this is a 100% practical course and 0% theory course. So today we are going to uh, start our uh, implementation uh, right away. So I'll show what is the uh, deal today. So uh, before that, let me uh, show the overall schedule just for your uh, reference. So this is the overall schedule. So again, as I as you know, this is the schedule for the entire coming uh, couple of uh, months. So today is October 13th. Uh, so today let's do some basic design of power monitoring device and uh, select some components and things like that. So uh, I was just, I mean, as uh, earlier, just uh, today, you know, half an hour back or one hour back, I was actually purchasing some of the components to show this demo to you. So uh, let me open up that thing and then I will be showing that. So I think I'll have to uh, activate my camera here also. Uh, just a minute. So I'll stop my presentation, but I will start. Uh, I'll start my webcam here. So, is it okay? Are you able to see? Yes, sir. Uh, no, actually, I I want to show my webcam actually. So. Let me see. Are you able to see that? No, sir. Nothing is coming. Uh, no, some the camera is getting switched off. Okay. Okay. I think uh, I have to close this. How about now? You are able no. to see the pen. Yes, and uh, uh, so, okay. So this is the. Uh, I just uh, set up the webcam that way. So first thing I begin by showing you one by one, I'll introduce you to the components. And the first one is uh, this one, okay? So of course, you can easily understand what this is. Uh, it is nothing but uh, a plug with uh, this thing. So once we connect this to a system, we'll be able to measure the, uh, not measure, the. we'll be able to power the light. So let's uh, do that. So I'll bring uh, this thing in front. So again, you know what this is. So if I uh, connect uh, directly this one, so first I'll switch off this thing, I'll connect, and then uh, I'll switch on this, OK? So now you're able to see the light. So very simple, nothing difficult. So as I said, uh, it is a step-by-step -step, uh, uh, process. So uh, we are starting with this first step of uh, switching on a light, OK? so. By the way, how, do you know how to do the wiring for this? So basically, uh, some of you, uh, if you are not familiar, you'll have to yes, uh, see inside this. And this one, I assume everybody knows. OK, so okay, so I'll keep this aside. Next, I'll show you one uh, component. In fact, I'm going to open it. So so this is, the, this is how uh, it comes when you purchase. So this is called. Uh, uh, PZEM 0040. I'll, I'll again give you the information also. This is basically power monitoring device. So this is the first and the main device that uh, you will be uh, working with. So uh, let me open it. By the way, I, I have only about one hour time, right? By the end of one, one end of our time. So I would like to, I want to complete everything, including, you know, uh, building this uh, system, uh, the software part and measuring and everything I want to show. So let's let's see how how it happens. So uh, this is how the uh, device looks like. Let me, yeah. So this is how the device looks like. I think it's not uh, focusing it yet. So it has two sides. So I think maybe this is better. So one side is the is the power, and the other side is the communication. So the power side and communication side, it will start measuring the power. Anyway, I'll explain that. Later, uh, uh, see, uh, additionally, in the package, 
you also get this. This is a current transformer. So uh, this will measure, uh, the whole device will measure up to 100 amperes of current. But 100 amperes of current will not flow through the device. It will flow through this uh, through the actual line. And this, this we will use for uh, sensing that current. Any, I'll show how to connect it uh, soon. Uh, the thing also comes with a uh, kind of one page, uh, you know, thing, you know, shows the circuit diagram and things like that. So when, when you receive this item, so by the way, all these items, I'm going to ship it to you. When you receive this item, you will also uh, have this, uh, hopefully you will also have this thing in it. Uh, but anyway, apart from this, I'll give my own instructions so you can, you can do that. So this is for measuring the power. So what it does, it uh, measures the power and uh, provides the values. So the voltage value, current value, power value, power factor value, frequency, and even uh, the energy. So all these uh, values it will display, or it not display, it will uh, transmit, the to use the technical word. So this is the first uh, component, so I'll keep it aside. Next, what, uh, what we want to do is we want something that will interface with uh, this device. Okay, so so that uh, we can extract the data from it. So that is this device. This is called ESP2866. Again, uh, don't worry about uh, remembering what it is. Just uh, Im imagine that this is a uh, uh, take, uh, another name, more, more popular name uh, it has is Node MCU. Okay, Node MCU means uh, uh, Node is a like a uh, node in a network and MCU is microcontroller. So this is a small microcontroller uh, which can communicate with the this device. So these two will communicate with each other. We will be making the connections. And after communicating, if you see, there is a Wi-Fi signal here, Wi-Fi antenna here, you can see. And this module is a Wi-Fi module. So this will be able to communicate to internet also. So on one side, it will communicate with the power measurement device. And on the other side, it will communicate with the internet and it will upload the data. So that is the uh, idea of this. So this is the uh, that equipment. So I just let me remove this. So here uh, its uh, name is given, and you know I details are given. Okay. So this is the another uh, device. So uh, let me arrange in order. So I, I have this, I have this, and I have the equipment. Okay. So not only uh, like we would like to build it in a, such a way that any equipment. That's why I kept the plug. So if you if Instead of this, if you keep another equipment, then you can uh, monitor that. Anyway, so let's let's continue. Uh, the other device I have is the so again I am just taking it out of my bag. So it's uh, this thing. So basically, this is a uh, what you call a box for uh, holding everything. So and I have some wire. Okay, so this is a wire, and I have some, you know, uh, plugs. Okay, and I have some switches and things like that. Okay, so let's let's begin uh, uh, doing this. So um, what I will do is I I do it a step by step process. That is, first I'll show the circuit diagram, then I will show the connection. Or I will actually make the connection. Then again, circuit diagram, again connection like that. One by one, we'll be doing. Feel free to stop me anytime if you have any doubt. Uh, you can you can ask that. Okay. So, uh, what is the circuit diagram first? Okay. So let me grab a paper. So. first set of wiring, I want to wire the uh, electrical part and then the electronics part. Okay, So in the electrical part, what we have is uh, something like this. Uh, there is a box. I might see I did not practice this drawing before. So I might uh, do multiple uh, drawings. So there is a main supply. Okay, So from there, I will get the supply. And that supply will enter the box, Okay, the phase and neutral. So once the box gets the supply, uh, there is, uh, let's say, the plug point here and a switch here. 
So this plug and switch will go to the equipment. So for now, the equipment is a bulb. Okay. And uh, we have the wires coming here and it is connected uh, directly to this plug here. And if I switch on, the light will on. So this you already seen. Now in between, uh, what I want to do is I want to connect this particular uh, power measurement device to measure the power. And the, the circuit for this is uh, given in this particular uh, diagram. So let me uh, refer to that and draw you in a more uh, better way. So normally you should keep it inside, but I'll just draw it outside for the sake of, you know, I, in fact, I'll draw like this. So the name of this is uh, What is the lifetime of these components? Uh, lifetime of these components, this one, see the, the life depends on how, how you are using it. So if you use it properly in an indoor environment and don't to make a lot of shocking, I mean shocks means the physically, if you keep it in a proper way, it will work, uh, at least it will work two, three years is what my guess is, as long as if you use it properly. And this also is very robust, uh, this thing, these are all microcontrollers, so they're designed to long last. And of course, the regular other components, you already know this, uh, uh, this boards and all. So it all depends on how nicely you use it. Okay. So that is the thing. good. We have a question. We started getting questions also. That is a good sign. Okay. So there are four terminals like this on, uh, on the power side of this. Okay. So let me, uh, you're able to see it properly, right? Any uh, issues in seeing? You make my video in uh, full screen mode so that uh, you'll be able to see it uh, without any issue, right? Yes, sir, we are able to see, sir. Yeah, any confusion, any any issue with the, this thing? Is it upside down? Okay, I think on my phone it is coming correctly. It is fine, sir. See, my, my hands are on your screen, my hand is coming yes. from the yes. top down. or from the bottom? Down, the bottom only, sir. From bottom, from bottom. Okay, okay. But then, see, I am moving right side. I think for you, also it is moving right, right side. side. Right side. Okay. Yes, right side. So my model here on the laptop, it is showing different. Anyway, so there is no confusion up, down, right, left. So that is fine. So I'll use that. Next, I have four more terminals on this side. Uh, so first one is ground, G and D. And uh, next one is TX. TX is transmit. Next one is RX, RX is receive, and then uh, the other one is 5 volts. So this we'll see later, this is the electronics part. On the electrical part, what we have is like this, S1, S2, and then we have phase and neutral. Okay. So this is the connection. So the phase and neutral is like this, and S1, S2 like this. Now what this S1, S2 uh, will happen, uh, S1, S2 is a current. So this current transformer, the red is S1 and uh, black is S2 for this. So it will connect like this. And this will be kept in the, uh, CT will be kept in the line connecting to the uh, load. So in I'll just draw the diagram so that, see, uh, disregard this uh, load on the side, on that side. So just uh, consider this is your load. If this is the load, then, uh, one connection of the direct see and this is the supply for example main supply phase and neutral so one phase will directly go to the load and uh, the other neutral will also directly go to the load like this phase and neutral now where does this thing come into picture so where this thing comes into picture is we'll keep the current on this one of the wires, either on phase or non neutral, but uh, recommended is to keep on neutral. So this is your CT. CT has two wires and those two wires are S1 and S2. So is that okay? So we are measuring current. Now to measure the voltage, anyway, phase and neutral I mentioned, here also phase and neutral is there. So uh, one connection of neutral will go to neutral and one connection of phase will go to phase. Sorry for my uh, roundabout diagram, but this is how it has to be connected. So uh, 
by the way we have to keep a switch also in between so the switch will keep here so here the switch will come i'll keep it as yes so to uh, to make the story start i'll start to making the wiring uh, i think uh, we are already how much time Okay, so my both things are on full screen. Okay, 3 p.m. So uh, about half an hour class is over. So we still have one more hour to uh, to complete this. Okay. So uh, again, please stop me if you have any doubt. So let me begin now by doing this side connections, whatever I just drawn. So uh, this is the box. Okay. So what I want to do is I have taken a slightly bigger box because I want to keep the electronics on top like this. And uh, we may add more devices in this. Uh, and then I want to keep the power uh, things on the bottom. And then we can we can do that. So for that, first I will close this side. So we have uh, what you call this. We have something like this, which can be used to uh, cover up this part. See, the benefit here is either you can install a, any device here or you can just uh, uh, keep it empty so that like this. So it is now flat and it is uh, closed. So same thing I will do for the above part. But anyway, I will leave it open so that you can see the device inside. Uh, later, we can close it after after our uh, this thing. Next, uh, uh, how do we get the wires inside this? So uh, first, we need to make a main supply. So uh, let me start uh, working with that. So a main supply, I here I'll connect a plug and uh, this side will be the main phase and neutral and maybe a little bit more wire uh, doesn't hurt. So maybe this much. So I now search for the scissors. So a lot of tools we'll be using. So Next, I'm searching for uh, this thing to make the okay. So I now have a uh, plug like this. So let me begin by making the main plug here. Okay. So uh, just give me one minute. I think I'll be able to do it fast. Uh, so open this. And you get like this, and then so I think I'll sit and do it nicely. Yeah, so I, I got this part next. Okay, so we connect it to this. And we close this. Yeah, so this is done. Next, I will uh, uh, 
Okay, so that is easy. So we got the uh, thing ready. So on one side there is a plug, and on the other side this is like empty. So that's it. So now uh, this thing has some. I think this needs to have some opening to bring in the wire. So I think we may have to make a hole for this. So let's try. So uh, I'll take it away and then I'll just. Sometimes the panels have holes and sometimes they don't have. This I did not see actually when I purchased. I think this might be enough. So I made a small hole on this. So I'm not expecting that. So let me bring in the main phase and neutral into this. So uh, typically, they use red color for phase and uh, black color for neutral. So that's what we'll follow. OK, so I have now these wires here. I think just to be safe, I'll make it a little bit more. So now it is better. OK. So now I have this. Next, I want to connect it to the switch. So uh, where did I say the switch exists? The switch, if I go back to this diagram, the switch is on the uh, neutral side, sorry, face side. So I open the switch here. So this is our switch. All right. So this is how the switch uh, is. And uh, I'm connecting. So I'll just uh, unwind this. I'll keep little bit uh, this itself. So, okay. so here I'll connect the. I'm sorry, not this. So uh, you should keep talking to me. Otherwise, I will not understand whether you are following or not. So are you people following what I'm doing? Yes, sir. Yes, so yes, now I'm connecting switch now. So this is the switch. And uh, so the middle part is the phase on this. And then if I uh, if I on or off, it will connect to the other one. So it's as simple as that. So, so I just connect it to the middle. So just open this. So I'll fold this.
So anybody have you have done this kind of things before wiring of a switchboard or some things like that? Yes, sir. You are done. Good. So I myself did, but many a long time back. So because of this course, now I am getting chance to uh, try this. Okay. So where does after switch where does it go? It goes to the uh, plug point, right? So uh, this is the plug point. So I open the plug now. These are all brand new. So see, uh, I can connect it. So in this, there is also it's given line and neutral. So I'll connect it to the line. So for the time being, we'll not worry about the our thing. Uh, although it has to be, we have to be really take care about our thing. But uh, right now, we'll not worry. So I'll just take a small wire uh, because this, these two are anyway adjacent to each other. So I'll connect it to. So this is a small wire I've taken. And uh, let me connect to the line that is to the load. Sorry, uh, the plug point will anyway connect the load. So that is the thing. So again, on either side, I make this cut. I remove the installation on this side and on this side. Okay, done. So let me connect this in the line here. The wire is slightly ah, okay. Now it is fine. So uh, one thing I need to take care here is that my plan is to keep this plug here. Okay. Now for keeping this plug here, so I think I should in insert it from the top. I think. Because if I finish the wiring inside, so again, I think I need to little bit be apply force on this maybe. Okay, so this is done. So now I can connect it. See earlier, otherwise if I did not do this, then uh, we may have to undo this. So that is the issue. So switch also let me connect. So the neighboring one will be the switch. Did I already do the problem? Okay. Now it is okay. Okay, switch is connected. Not connected. Uh, it is just installed on the board. So this one is just a dummy. So I'll just put this also. Or it's called blank. Okay, so now now let me join these two. So I'll open. I'll close this. Okay, so the phase part of the wiring is done. So the you see the red line coming from the top, that is a phase. First, it goes to the switch. After the switch, it goes to the phase of this. Next, uh, it comes back to the neutral here. So from there, we have to see what to do. Okay. So what is to be done is that the neutral, first it goes into this current coil. 
and then it gets connected to the uh, neutral here. That's it. There's, there's nothing uh, difficult. So I'll just make that connection right away. So, um, but notice how I installed this uh, current coil. So it is like a, a current transformer. You have to uh, keep it like this. Then it will it will measure the current. Okay. So normally ammeter will be connected in series, but here uh, because it is a it's made up of a current transformer, so it is like that. Okay, I think now we are done. So let me fold it sideways and then let me open this. Sir, whether there is a, a specific reason that CT we are uh, taking through neutral, we can take through line also because full load current is going through line. So anyway, neutral and line both same current it will take. So it's not about yeah. the current. And the reason is uh, we found that in the circuit diagram given by the uh, particular uh, you know component, uh, so in that circuit diagram they have connected it in a neutral. So just to be uh, you know, uh, consistent with that we are doing, but then uh, your question is right. We can connect it in any way, but uh, yeah. One second. Little bit troubling this thing. But it, uh, if we do these connections properly, most of the problem will be in in connections only, uh, like uh, most of the work also. So if you do it proper connections, then then uh, the like somebody was asking, how long will this? So it will last long if you connect it properly. Okay, good. So now uh, the this part is done. So the whole thing now you can see the, from the top we are getting the line. The line goes to the switch. Then after switch it goes to the face, and then the neutral of that comes back. And then through the current coil it goes back to the supply. So that is our routing now. Now this thing as I already mentioned, we connect to S1 and S2 in our uh, this uh, component. So if you see in this, uh, again you need to be careful with the orientation. The top one is S1, but then if I turn it like this, now the bottom one is S1. So be careful how you are uh, connecting so properly. If you keep the uh, uh, electronic side on the right and the power side on the left, then the top one is S1 So and S2. How do I know? Either you have to follow the markings on this particular device or you look at the uh, this particular uh, sheet. So in that, uh, it is like that. So let me connect uh, uh, to this one. See, I don't want to keep the uh, current transformer open while it is uh, going. So that's why I just want to, this side, I want to connect it into this. OK. Make it very nice and uh, Strong connection. This thing got a little bit pressed, so I push it up. So this is coming off. So if I'm going out of the camera, tell, tell me. Okay. 
so these two are connected properly so uh, at this stage i want to uh, test it okay so what i want to do now is i'll just simply uh, close this like this okay so hopefully everything is uh, okay and i will connect the uh, so let me let me bring the light here i switch off and then i connect it okay oh that's not a shock it's just a, it's just a sound okay now uh, come here so this is the main plug right we wired this one before and this one we already had so i'll now uh, connect the main plug uh, again uh, nothing it's already connected so uh, now we have a switch so let let me operate the switch and see whether light uh, glows or not so i'll i'll maybe i'll keep it this way okay so first i switch on the main switch and then this switch and uh, it doesn't glow so the first thing we need to troubleshoot now let me see what is the problem yeah now it is working so probably it was just a simple uh, this thing so anyway this kind of things will happen and it it makes you it gives you some kind of uh, uh, what you call uh, worry but then it's okay so you can see uh, now the light is on my face you can see so that's it so simple thing we are not measuring anything now but at least we made the arrangements to start measurement okay so any questions up till here so almost uh, uh, 3:20 is the time we have 40 more minutes to finish the other part okay so uh, still there is a couple of wiring needs to be done here phase and neutral i need to connect to the this thing okay so for that let me get a couple of uh, wires again so i'll take slightly bigger wire these measurements are needed for uh, for making the voltage measurement see the other two wires which we connected s1 s2 we make the current measurement whereas now this will make the voltage measurement so let's let's do that so uh, again where will i get the phase and neutral should i go after switch or before switch so it is better to go before switch because even if the switch is off the voltage will go to the device and it will make measurement and there it may make a measurement of you know zero current or something like that so which is okay so now i'll uh, incorporate this connection so i unfortunately i have to unscrew this by the way i have to switch off that so uh, see i am asking you as student projects do this so but then you all keep you know uh, be safe uh, you know safety is your responsibility so while doing all this yeah so so far any questions you are following what i am doing yes sir this is done yes sir and uh, the other side of this neutral i'll connect it to our device thing is not if i press too hard the wire will break if i press too uh, to do it correctly so that only the insulation breaks and the 
copper wires are safe. We will come with some practice which I don't have actually. Okay, so in the neutral. Uh, now where does the neutral go? Once again, there are two choices. So, but then the yeah, the last one is the neutral. So let me connect it to the last one. So before I do that, let me take care of phase wire also, so that uh, it will be. On this side. So I'll slowly uh, insert this phase into this. Ha, I'm sorry, the phase has to be uh, before the switch. So this I need not disturb. So directly I'll go to the switch. So most of our time is going in electrical connection, but it's okay. I wanted to do it because you actually get the feel of it, how it is. Everything tight. And the other end of it, uh, I'll connect it for voltage measurement. Sorry. Yeah, any question? That's it. I just want to be extra sure, so I'll kind of push it a little bit more. Sure that these two things don't come close to each other. I'm sorry, I think. Are you getting bored? No, sir. <laughs> okay, so anyway, once this is done, the exciting thing will start. Eh? Electrical uh, wiring and all is little boring anyway. I agree. Okay, so this is done. Now, uh, let me 
check by switching on. So if you see, uh, I don't know whether you can see, there is a red light coming on this particular device. Yes, sir. So that means uh, this device is powered on and it is ready to measure. Okay. So everything is there, the coil is connected, everything is there. So this is ready to measure. Okay. So now let's do the electronics uh, part now. Okay. So uh, for that, we need to come to this thing. So anyway, let me once again uh, summarize you what I have done. So we have over half an hour. I think that should be just a good enough to to finish this so uh, so far what i have done i got a uh, i got a phase and neutral okay now the phase directly went to the switch and after the switch it went to the uh, plug point okay so where we can connect the load so i'll just write like this so here I connected the load. Okay, so this is the bulb, and then uh, that bulb also comes and connects here. Okay. Uh, then uh, on the other side, this the this one goes back to the neutral, but we also inserted a what you call this uh, current coil yes. on the neutral, and then the output is uh, S1 and S2, this is the names of it. And on this side, uh, before the switch goes to this, I have taken a connection from here, so that is phase. And then of course, I also connect taken a connection from neutral. So how did I connect this? Okay, so let me again show you, this is the entire device. The name of device is PZEM. 400T 3.0 version okay. and a rating is 100 amperes. So, by the way, that is the thing. And it has four terminals on, on the left side. This is the power terminals. So, how I connected S1 goes to the first one, S2 goes to the second one. This is S1, S2. And then the neutral comes to the third one. The neutral is here. And the phase, uh, phase I have to take a jump here connected here so this is the connection of the of so far what we have done and when i close the switch the light switches on and when i open the switch light switches off so that is the thing so let me quickly uh, do the demo of that so i have everything like this and uh, i have this here light okay and then uh, i switch on and Again, some problem. Just a minute. I think the problem seems to be with the light. Yeah, now it is working. So this is the uh, so far what you have done. So let's start uh, building the electronics without wasting any further time. So switch off everything and then start working. So uh, I have this module. Uh, which is uh, which is called ESP8266. Okay, so I think we'll do one thing. I'll keep this aside. This one we'll keep it aside, and we'll start uh, worrying about this module. Okay? So what you have to do is we have to connect it to the laptop. Okay? So let me make that connection. Uh, laptop or any whatever you have. How do you connect it? So to connect it to the system, you need uh, a simple uh, USB cable. Ah, I have it here. See, hopefully this cable works. So this is a cable. So you know this cable, right? Uh, whatever uh, you have. On one side is USB, other side is this. So here it, it goes like this. And this one goes to the computer. Okay, so I just connect it to the computer here. So I connected it. And did you notice immediately when I connected, there was a blue light. Okay, so once again, I remove it. 
and I connect it back again. Notice the blue light. So did you see there was a little bit of blue light which has come, which means this is kind of now powered. Now continuously on light will not be there on this. Anyway, so that about that's about this. Now uh, there is a detailed diagram of it like this. I just taken a printout. So this is available online. So the the pins numbers are different. Uh, what is written on this and what is the general purpose I/O pins? It is called. So we'll be worrying about that first. Meanwhile, I I connected this to the computer, right? So let's see whether it is detect, detected in the computer. Okay. So for that, what you have to do is uh, go to your computer. Now I'll start sharing my computer screen because now we are we are working on the uh, this side. Okay, so on the. Okay, so you are able to see my screen now. Me. So yes, uh, sir, we can see. So what we have to do? So this is already open. So anyway, I'll, I'll go for new. So what we have to do is uh, install what is called as uh, Arduino IDE. Okay, so it looks something like this. I'll just go back to the desktop. So all remaining things I'll close, which are non-essential, and others I'll minimize. So as usual, my desktop is too busy. So here at the down, you can see Arduino IDE. So if you open that uh, Arduino IDE, so it is very straightforward. You just have to uh, go to that website and install. It is like installing any software. So I hope uh, you will not have any problem with that. So. So after installing, you will get something like this. I'm sorry. Uh, I think I have multiple times I opened it. So let me close everything again. Uh, this one I want to keep it open. OK, this one also I want to keep it open. Probably this one I'll close it. OK, so when you open, you will get like this. Void setup, put your setup code here. And void loop, put your main code here. So it has uh, every Arduino board has these two, uh, what you call, uh, functions, setup and loop. So we'll not worry about it right now. Setup is a thing that runs only one time. And loop is the thing that will run continuously, uh, That, as the name suggests. But what I wanted to show was uh, we, we are using this particular uh, uh, module, which is Node MCU or ESP two eight double six. So that we have to select here. So go to Tools. Okay. In the Tools, uh, there is this uh, one line called Board, and then here it is written Boards Manager, and already it is showing generic ESP eight two double six module. Okay. So maybe I'll write that here so that. Uh, uh, Okay, so the first step is install. So, so maybe you can make uh, my screen as full screen when you are seeing. So install. Yeah. So install uh, Arduino. Let me show. Let me be sure about. Uh, Spelling A R D U I N O I D E, and after installing, uh, open the software. So it opens the empty file. Next, you go to uh, you go to tools and then uh, boards. Okay, so there is a board and Sometimes if your board is not displayed, go to board manager. So maybe I'll just explain that, that also. Tools menu, board manager. Then you will get uh, the screen like this, what uh, what uh, is displayed on this. So in this, you install the uh, board that is install. 
ESP eight two double six board. So just search for that eight two double six. You will find it and simply press install. It will be done. Next, after installing that, you can go to tools and then uh, boards and then select that board. So again, go to tools. Board. And here you select the above board. Okay, so that is that is the thing. And then uh, you also have to select the port. Okay, so on what port you have connected that you have to select. So usually it, it uh, I am using uh, uh, what you call uh, uh, tools and then port and then select the port. To which uh, this device is connected. ESP board is connected. So in my uh, system, the the port is slash dev slash tty USB zero. So uh, USB zero is the uh, what you call. Uh, port for this particular thing. So once you have done all those configurations, uh, you will get like this. And you also have to uh, enable give the permissions to that board. So let me show that command. So again, if you are using uh, Ubuntu, this thing applies. Otherwise, not required. So simply say sudo. So at that uh, prompt, dollar prompt, sudo space chmod. That is change mode. And then six six six, and then our uh, this thing tty sorry dev slash tty usb zero. So once you run this command, so it will it will enable. So I'll it will enable the uh, port. So I have done that. It will ask for password. So enter the password and done. What happened? Yeah. Okay, it's fine. Now it is done. So now come back to uh, to this. So let me now show you the code. Actually, what I will be running. So the code is uh, simple. In the interest of time, directly I will show you the code. So switch back to my computer screen as the main uh, this thing. So can you see the code now uh, on my screen? Yes, sir. So yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me let me see if I can increase the font so that uh, people can see it properly. So okay, font is fourteen here. Instead of fourteen, let me go with uh, eighteen or maybe even twenty. Okay. Yeah. So I hope now it is a little bit more clear. Okay. We start with this particular command that is hash include. So I'm I'm discussing line number one. Total code is only twenty nine lines. So very simple code. So hash include this particular library. Okay. P Z E M zero zero four T version three three zero dot H. You have to use. Anyway, I will share the link for this code in the description, so you can directly download this code and you can use it. So now, who developed this P Z E M zero zero four T V? This is developed by the the manufacturer of this particular device, which I showed that power measurement device, which I showed. So uh, this device, uh, those people have uh, developed this. Uh, by the way, you have. Just like that, it will not come. You have to install. So that is another step. So you can go to Tools and Manage Libraries, and in the libraries, you have to uh, type. Uh, I'm just seeing the install libraries. So you have to type pzem. Or what is the name of this? So 
let me search here install so many are there Sir, it has to be included with the zip file. Oh, we have to do like that. But where do we yes, find uh, this one uh, module? I think. Uh, uh, no, sir. We have to upload that zip file. Uh, you can see that okay. in the so manual. Okay, so I will explain that process now. Simply go to uh, Google and search for this particular device. That is P D M four zero zero P something like that. You search. Uh, okay. So by the way, whatever I am explaining already, some people have done it in the. This thing. So here you will find github.com and pzem004-v30. So Arduino library for uh, for this. So open this. Then here on the right, there you see code, and then uh, there will be a download zip. So using this, you download the zip. So then uh, you can keep it anywhere. So for example, I already downloaded. So but make sure that you have v30 in the title. Because uh, we are using this V30. Okay, so then now if I go to the folder, so so here I can see that that file. I can unzip that. So extract here. Once you unzip, you will get a folder. Inside the folder, you will get all this header file and everything. So this folder has to be kept in the Arduino software. So the location is again home. uh where is this arduino with capital a libraries inside that you you keep this okay. so let me once again uh, write down so that uh, uh, it is there so this process whatever i have explained here this is uh, uh, related to the esp uh, 8266 board also called node mcu so this is the software of uh, this particular board so again uh, make uh, make my video full screen so this one so then uh, uh, coming to the next one uh, that is software of uh, software related to uh, pzem uh, 400t v30 okay. so what is the procedure first thing is uh, google the above name so once you get the above name uh, github website has the library go there then uh, click on code and then download zip and once you download zip then unzip to get a folder and once you unzip the folder then uh, save the folder in this location uh, move or copy the folder to uh, slash that uh, depends on where you installed the already know okay I'm sorry. Are you are you able to see the video correctly? It's reverse. Yes, sir. Uh, how about That's now? So actually, one is my screen sharing. You should not follow. Uh, the other one. Yeah, the other one is correct. Okay, so webcam one. Ah, uh, so instead of this, you go to that webcam one. Sir, yes. otherwise, the uh, if uh, they are aware with Git clone, they can directly uh, Git space clone, and that path will give them into that uh, library also. Anyway, so yeah, that also can be done. So here, uh, uh, what was the path? So uh, the path is like this. Let me open. Yeah. So home, and then Arduino. So this is home. So home means actually your name. The home name will be there. 
so libraries and inside that you uh, this folder has to come inside that that is the arrangement okay so that also we are done uh, now quickly let's look at the code uh, we have little less time so the code is like this so uh, here uh, we are uh, including that header and then we are creating an object called pgem so this object pgem what we are creating in the second line so uh, go to my uh, what you call uh, screen share so that make it full screen you will be able to see it uh, pgem 1302 uh, sorry 1312 so this 13 and 12 represents the uh, pins okay the receive and transmit pins which have to be connected to transmit and receive pins of the pgem so uh, if you go back here, so this 13 and uh, what I've used 14 are 13 and 12, sorry. They are D7 and D6 pins. Okay. So I'll show it to you how, how to make that. So uh, then uh, the serial connection, the serial connection is with the desktop so that we can make the print. Then uh, here we are having, see, once you do this PSM 1312, it gets connected. The device will automatically gets connected. Then uh, voltage will be stored in volt variable because PSM dot voltage, it is a measurement. Current, power, energy, frequency, all these things are stored. Then there's a simple check whether sometimes uh, if the connections are not good or some error is there, it will uh, reply, it will uh, come as a not a number, a name. So here we are checking whether it is they defined or not. If it is not a number, we are initializing with zero. Otherwise, uh, this part will not happen. And this is a simple print command. So uh, those who know C, they, they know the simple, you know, the formatted uh, string, printf. So V means voltage and uh, you know, all that. Point 0.1F means I want one decimal place for voltage, three decimal place for current, all these things. And these values I'm printing. Then there is a delay of 5,000 milliseconds. That means five seconds, it is a delay. After five seconds, again, it will go back to the loop, again measure and again print. Again measure and again print. So this is a simple, uh, this thing. So uh, let me first, before even I make the connections, let me compile. Uh, I hope uh, it compiles correctly. And now I will make these connections into this. I'll bring back these things. So uh, we have to make ma mainly four connections. Okay. So with this particular module. So let me make the wires ready. And then I'll compile. Just give me a minute. Here. The first set of connections I will make is the power uh, connections. I'll show you. Uh, so because this is a connection diagram, I'll show it in this itself. Are you able to see my screen, my uh, webcam? Yes, sir. Let's shift to my webcam. I'll keep the code on the screen. OK, so this is ESP 8266. Okay. So it will have two pins. OK, so I think uh, there, I here I will show on one side, but they are on different sites so so this pgm module itself has uh, four as i already mentioned so the top one is called ground the bottom one is called 5 volt okay so this ground and 5 volt i will connect to this okay so that's what i'll do right now so there is a uh, one thing let me pull this from inside here. Okay, I may have to make one more hole that I'll do it later. Let's 
seeing it not coming. Okay. So maybe from this I'll take it. Just give me a minute. Yeah, so So there is a corner V in, so I connect to that and I connect to five volts here. So this is the first connection. Then another connection is, where is the another wire, just a minute. Sir, these wires are given with the module? Yes, uh, uh, no, we have to get this wire separately. Uh, these wires are not given with the module. So we have to get it separately just yeah here it is so this wire again i connect to ground and the ground of this device now the most tricky part what we have to do look at the this thing so my screen so here uh, my handwritten thing so I have connected uh, ground and uh, 5 volt. So that part is done. Okay, so I'll just show it like this. Next is the RX and TX. Okay. So on the near to ground, we have transmit and receive. So here uh, the names are, so there, there are again different names. So D6 and D7. So D6, I think I'll once again make it here. Only two I will show. This is transmit and this is receive. Okay, so I am making a small diagram. The transmit and receive, the transmit has to connect to receive and receive has to connect to transmit. So T, uh, Rx, Tx. Okay. That means when the ESP is transmitting, uh, this one is receiving. And when ESP is receiving, the other one is transmitting. Stop it. OK. Now, uh, what is the transmit pin Tx pin? So uh, let's say we I am assigning pin 13 to this transmit. And I'm assigning pin 12 to what, what was there in the code. Just let me go 13 and 12. So pin 12 to receive. But pin 12 means uh, D6 and pin 13 means D7. Okay. So, uh, so ultimately, I have to connect D6 to transmit and D7 to receive. So that's what uh, is there. But anyway, it's only two combinations, so we can always change in the software. So I'm connecting the uh, one to one here now. So uh, I'm taking D6 to the receive. And one more connection, finally. So normally these connections we will be making using soldering pin. But right now, since we are anyway making temporary connections, so I'm just connecting with these wires. Otherwise, uh, we have to put everything on a uh, panel board and we have to connect. So uh, hopefully, I think everything is fine. I made. Uh, if I did not make any mistakes, everything might be fine. So let's see how it uh, works now. OK, so uh, the connections are made. So 
now i have to upload the code into the uh, device so i am uploading the code so i think that permission problem because i disconnected in between so whenever that problem comes you have to provide the permission so we are just on time i think so now we can see uh, uploading the code 15% 23% like this so anyway so the by the time the code uploads let us switch on the power side also and uh, hopefully if everything goes fine we will start getting the readings okay. so i am connecting the load so let me uh, go towards the uh, to see the print results uh, there is a uh serial monitor so we can see here okay so i think we already started getting data so are you able to see on the screen 237 volt 0.37 amperes 0.5 watt uh, 0.001 kilowatt hour and 50 hertz so right now uh, it's already reading let me now connect the lamp and see how how the power will change okay so i'm connecting the lamp okay so let me switch it on okay so the next reading uh, can you see any change yes sir so you are able to see 6 watt and then 8 watt so actually this power uh, this uh, in fact we get power factor also so the earlier the power factor was 0.06 now it becomes uh, 0.61 so now we are able to measure the power 7.9 watts so isn't that interesting so we are able to uh, measure the power so any any questions so i will share all the code and everything yeah so here what is the wattage of uh, bulb written on that so one? the wattage of the bulb is 8 watts when okay. when we purchase it's a 8 watt so okay. let me replace with a uh, different wattage of the bulb and i have so many bulbs but some are working some are not working so let's say this is a 60 watt bulb i have so i will switch off the power side i mean i switch off this light no i am safe now you will see voltage is there but current will become zero now i am connecting a 60 watt bulb so if the bulb glows then uh, it is fine yeah so bulb is glowing uh, can you see the power uh, rating change now on the screen 63 watts yes. okay 62.9 watts so it's a 60 watt bulb and it is generating the power so is it uh, is it clear visible to you yes sir so ultimately this is what we want to do so if now i'll switch off because it's getting hot so ultimately we want to build a box like this okay so this is the box and uh, we can close everything okay so uh, even this particular uh, wire which is there that is giving power supply we can get a charger inside and uh, supply power to the this thing so it need not be connected to laptop and we will we'll completely close this into a box are you able to hear me I yes, got yeah so we'll completely connect this into this box okay so i'll stop sharing the screen uh, so now one thing in, in this business yeah yeah what is it sorry it is kw it is means why it is not getting add up means adding up with each other means 0.24.02.04.06 point ha huh, so it is uh, i think it is uh, displaying last decimal is always zero but here it is 0.001 became 0.002 and if you keep uh, running it for more time it will it will keep keep adding up so yes. here because of the what you call uh, rounding of thing it is not adding uh, but uh, yes. it will it will add eventually power factor also you might have noticed when, at the time when we connected the bulb can you notice here the the power factor was 0.0506 when nothing was there 
power factor was 0.6 when uh, uh, this is there point i think the water scroll so here you can see 0 0.99 0 0.99 because the bulb is purely resistive power factor is 0 0.99 power is 63 watt 63 watt but here the earlier the power was 9 watt and the only power factor is 0 0.61 so anyway, so today I have uh, downloaded this. So uh, let me tell you what is the, in just one minute I'll end, uh, what is the process next? Okay, I'll stop presenting the screen and uh, so that, you know, we can see me on uh, on this. So the process is that whatever this particular uh, thing is there, I think I have to anyway share the screen to show the items list. So I'll just again go back to sharing the screen. Yeah. So can you see uh, not this this uh, slide? And, uh, so this is the thing. So look at the first item, the PSM0040 mini multifunction meter. So that one quantity price is about thousand rupees. Then ESP8260 node MCU module about three thirty. Jumper wires uh, that one SD card. So we did not see SD card today, but SD card is for. Uh, uh, storing the data that also we'll we'll program it later. So uh, next one uh, we have uh, casing for all equipment, and then miscellaneous, and then shipping charges everything. So total comes to about two and a half thousand. So uh, I would try to support maximum from my side, but at least you uh, as a student, if you share half, I will be able to get half uh, funded from the institute. So that uh, it will be there. Today I will circulate a Google sheet in that those uh, like you have to provide your postal address so that this particular box which I showed you, uh, we will get the items uh, and we'll uh, uh, ship it to your address. I think that would be the plan. So that it will be uniform. And once you develop this, we can go further. So is that okay? Shall we uh, conclude today's session now? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, so again, thank you for uh, your attendance. See, as I already mentioned before, my uh, I have a bigger vision for this particular uh, course. So, uh, as for that, we would like uh, you to, uh, you know, act, uh, take part actively and you know participate and then uh, work on this. All the material which I have, I will uh, you know make sure that these things are available under the link under the description. So you can see the video, you can see the things. And when you actually receive this item, then you can actually build it. So I've done it within a one and a half hour. So you can take five hours, six hours time, uh, leisurely you can build this and you can start monitoring. Imagine you connect a, a device here, not the this thing. So maybe next class I will show you, we can connect electric kettle, we can connect iron box, and we can see what is the power consumption. So we'll do that in the next uh, session. So, uh, yeah, so let's conclude here. So, hope it is useful for you. So, see you in the next class. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.